We are now on our second objective, the identification of complete list of building asset. Let's identify all systems that needs to be maintained in a building. Some of you are service providers or contractors or planning to have a business that offers services to dynamic buildings. You can learn something here. Then you can identify services and system in a building that will give you an idea where to start. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's the facility's eight major system. The building comprises of eight primary physical system that is structural, enclosure, electrical, mechanical, fire safety system, finishes, conveyor or lip system, site work system okay it was compared to human physiology to illustrate the importance of its system nothing should be neglected siempre or the entire system will suffer i hope you pick up the idea hindi na kailangan ng paliwanag na mas mahaba now let's go to the detail here here are the utilities that need a special maintenance strategy preventive maintenance services frequency and routine inspection the following are supply of domestic water fire protection water supply storm water management sanitary water management steam and condensate if your building has it hot water supply and chilled water you must have a tool to make sure you can create maintenance plan for those system Here's the major component of domestic water and fire protection. The following needs preventive maintenance, PM services, PM frequency, and routine inspection like bulbs, hydrant, pipes, indicators. Okay, next. Here's the storm water drain system. The following needs preventive maintenance strategy, PM services, PM frequency, and routine inspection like for example manhole, outpole roof drains, catch basin, PM activity, and with defined frequency was essential to do the routine inspection on these asset components of the building. Here's the sanitary sewer. The following needs PM strategy, PM services, PM activity, and routine inspection like manhole, building service connection, pipe needs to be declugged with defined frequency, and service provider is needed. So there's a DENR or LLDA law that make the system compliant. Those are offered also by certain provider. If we didn't comply, we will receive notice of violation and our company will fine or even close as a worst scenario. Here's the steam and condensate system. So bihira yung buildings na may ganitong uh, system pero in manufacturing there are and in some hotels there are also. The following needs PM strategy, PM activity, PM frequency, and routine inspection like pumps, flow meters, pipes, insulations, bulbs. This system is connected to HVAC which we will discuss also. Here's the chilled water utilities that needs preventive maintenance program. PM activity, defined frequency of PM, and routine inspection like chillers, chiller pumps and motor, or chilled pumps and motors, cooling towers, electrical controls. Those things need frequency of uh, preventive maintenance and routine maintenance. For water system, a PM strategy, PM services, preventive maintenance activity, defined frequency, and routine inspection are also needed on the following like pump system, bulbs, pipes, meters, drains, any attached related equipment to that. For the wastewater system, which all buildings has it, maliban na lang sa maliit, hindi requirement or required but, but, uh, but with exemption, okay? A PM strategy, PM services, PM activity, defined frequency, and routine inspection are needed on the following like treatment system before discharge, pump system, kitchen, grass, uh, kitchen grease traps, oil separators, and related equipment attached 
into wastewater system. Actually, there's, there was also a DENR or LLDA law that make the system compliant to local codes and law. Services for compliance were offered also by certain provider. For the exhaust system, it needs preventive maintenance strategy, preventive maintenance services, and preventive maintenance activity with defined frequency and routine inspection are needed on the following like for example exhaust fans and motors, fume hood or kitchen hood, sounds attenuator, ducts. Certain maintenance provider or contractors earn a decent income in offering those services. This system is very critical in dynamic building because it's been the cause of fire incident if not properly maintained. Then, we have the fresh air supply system, wherein it needs preventive maintenance strategy, preventive maintenance services, PM activity, defined frequency, and routine inspection are needed on the following, like air handling units, fins, filtrations, motors, VFDs, duct system, diffuser, sensors, and dampers. Air quality is also observed in this system. Certain maintenance provider or contractors earn a decent income in offering those services. For the cooling system of the building, a PM strategy, a preventive maintenance services, and preventive maintenance activity with defined frequency and routine inspection are needed on the following like temperature controls, uh, FCUs, bulbs, fin tubes, uh, fin tube radiators, Air quality is also observed in the system because certain maintenance provider offer this so they earn a decent income offering those services. For HVAC control system, where in preventive maintenance strategy, preventive maintenance services, preventive maintenance activity, we define frequency and routine inspection are needed also on the following like damper actuators, control bulbs, relays and sensors, AHU controllers, FCU controllers, BMS controllers, communication links. Certain maintenance provider that I know or contractor earn a good income in offering those services. And here's the dump waiter wherein uh, this is part of the equipment of a dynamic building wherein a preventive maintenance strategy and preventive maintenance services or activity with defined frequency and routine inspection are needed in the following uh, parts of the dumb waiter which is the motors motor controllers and other mechanical parts maintenance provider also or contractor offer services for those system and earn a good profit Here's the elevator or lift system, wherein a uh, preventive maintenance strategy, preventive maintenance services, preventive maintenance activity with defined frequency and routine inspection are needed on the following, like control system, motors, roofs and roller guides, counterweights, car safety devices, traveling cables, entrance safety, relays and sensor, and the program itself all mechanical wear and tear parts maintenance provider or contractor offer services for those system here's the escalator system wherein a preventive maintenance strategy preventive maintenance services preventive maintenance activity with defined frequency and routine inspection needs on the following like handrail steps step chain landing platform motors safety control Rollers, safety devices like complete safety device, emergency stop, skirt guard, speed redu detectors, drive chain safety devices, and many other parts of the escalator. A maintenance provider or contractor offers services for this system and earn a good income. And next system is the fire detection and alarm system, wherein uh, in a dynamic building with this kind of system, it needs preventive maintenance strategy, preventive maintenance services, and preventive maintenance activity with defined frequency and routine inspection for the following parts of the system like fire alarm control panel, batteries, water flow switches, supervisory switches, smoke and heat detectors, manual pull station, and 
others notification appliances attached to the system wherein maintenance provider or contractor offers services for those system actually it is an specialized work and few are offering these services pero kailangan kailangan to okay next is the fire sprinkler system where preventive maintenance strategy preventive maintenance services and preventive maintenance activity with defined frequency and routine inspection are needed on the following like fire pump jockey pump controllers os and y bulbs alarm bell electric bell pressure switches drain lines firehouse cabinet control bulbs with tamper switch flow switches inspector test bulb sprinkler heads and dual fire department connection maintenance provider or contractor offer services for those system actually it is also belongs to a specialized services that only few contractor offers so kaya kailangan kailangan yung mga contractor with a particular specialization on that system this is another uh, system which we call auxiliary system where preventive maintenance strategy, preventive maintenance services, and preventive maintenance activity with defined frequency and routine inspection are needed on the following like telecommunication, network IDF, structured cabling, Wi-Fi, POS, CCTV, biometrics, burglar alarms. Those are part of the dynamic building and maintenance provider or contractors offer services for this system okay this is the electrical system where uh, part of it I trabaho natin wherein preventive maintenance strategy PM services and PM activity with defined frequency and routine inspection needs on the following like transformer substation generators bcv and acvs ee rooms vfds distribution panels metering system ats first private fold and all other component of the electrical system in a dynamic building so a maintenance provider or contractor offers services for this system actually we have several contractors in this area this is also a specialized services that's good to venture uh, here's the last one the, what we call this the building envelope where a preventive maintenance strategy is also needed and a PM services and activity with defined frequency and routine inspection are needed on the following like for example metal roofs hindi natin concern pero part ng trabaho ng mga facilities engineer concrete decks insulations roof drains walls waterproofing system maintenance provider or contractor offer services for this system and they earn a, uh, a good income for on this okay now i've done presenting the system of a dynamic building i hope you see challenges on how to manage the building system as an engineer in operations and maintenance, you need to educate yourself on all the system mentioned in a dynamic buildings because you will be handling all of it. I reiterate that every system needs a preventive maintenance strategy, preventive maintenance services, preventive maintenance activity, and routine inspection to keep the assets in good operating condition all the time. Let me continue some of the key concepts we will be discussing further. Okay, so here's the fourth concept. All systems shall be subjected to program maintenance. All systems must have the following inspection checklist, PM procedure, frequency of maintenance, contracted services provider. Another is supply of skilled manpower, program for asset replacement, maintenance strategy, tools for monitoring all preventive maintenance program okay now that we already identify all system we will now review the pm strategy that fits our facility okay and that will be for our third objective